Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this transition. I like to call it the freeze frame flash transition. It happens really quick, but it is one of my favorite transition right now. I use it in every single music video of mine. So anyways, I have these three clips as you can see. I'm gonna make the transition on them. So I'm gonna go to the second clip and I'm gonna transition right here from here. So to do that, I'm gonna duplicate the second clip and freeze frame it as always go to time and then just freeze frame after that dragging your freeze frame over to your next clip and make it like two frames for the first one we're gonna make it two frames so it's like that maybe even longer if you want to do more characters for one subject i'll take two frames so so in here i have like one two three four almost five or six characters in my scene so now i'm gonna take my pen tool and, and start masking out the them individually so first i'm gonna max out this guy right here holding the clock max him out easily like this like that my max is done and as you can see after you do the max it will like show up like this and it will transition into the next clip like that that exactly what we want but now i'm gonna duplicate this again and delete the marks from it and start rotoscoping out my another subject which is this one like put it behind it and and start masking him out as well so let's just do that real quick then after you max out another subject another of your subject you could just make it one frame shorter so it like pops in then just duplicate it again delete the max and repeat the same stuff until all of your subjects are done so after you done all the subject if i hide my first layer you can see all of my freeze frame pops in like that that's exactly what we want now we're gonna add the flash so to add that flash i like to select my first clip which is this one as you can see this is the one the first freeze frame i mean and go one frame forward and just split it so it's like one frame remaining so it's like only one frame right here as you can see only one frame then add a fill on it so fill and turn it into white so it's whole white for the exposure then you can add like something glow you can add the normal glow if you want it also looks cool but i like to add a deep glow onto it and bring up the radius and lower down the size of it and also required for text so after that you can see it flashes in the beginning that exactly what we want so i'm gonna split the another layer and just copy these effects into it so it happens to all of my layers so right here right here as well last one is only one frame so let's just add it on there so after that if i turn on my layer you can see this cool little transition looks really cool though this transition keep getting used in every single music videos nowadays and i really love it too so i'm gonna like guess it's a bit too faster so let's just extend one frame at the end uh, like that and remove the effect from it because it's just too fast in my case so like that that looks really cool also if you want you can just pre-comp all of these and add like a rsmb into it what rsmb will do is add these motion blur which looks really cool if you like to that looks really smooth as well then to transition through we're going to use a shape so let's just create an adjustment layer and i'm going to use my preset pack for it i'm going to use my shake pack open up animation preset go to user preset shake pack and just add the sd one in it best one and i'm going to trim it till here so the impact only happens in our second clip also if you want you can add like a exposure into your main clip as well and also like make it really bright so it like transition through but anyways so also for my next clip which is this i'm gonna do the same thing and see ya guys So after doing that it looks really cool and my final result also looks something like this once again this is my favorite transition it looks really clean and seamless as well so yeah that's it for today's video if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i'm uploading daily on july so stay locked in and also you can check out my digital store i have some editing packs on there like this steak steak pack that i use and also grunge fx and title pack they are really dope so check them out so the link will be in the description so yeah see you in next video peace